So this is a sculpture, a hair, that I got very enthusiastic about because somehow it signifies, it's beautiful, but it also signifies my life a little bit. Because I feel that both Jonas and I, we have been running like two hairs through life. For me, it is, I suppose, the excitement of the journey in itself. Could you ever imagine that we would, on our way, make such a difference to so many people? When Jonas and I quit our jobs, and started selling cosmetics, they just said, you are completely out of your mind. What the hell has happened to you? When we came home to mother, they were not very enthusiastic at all. And mother said, devastated, Robert, if it doesn't work, you come home and you sleep in your children's room. Remember, sometimes we could see reindeer, <laughs> sometimes <laughs> we could see rabbits, <laughs> and we could sometimes see a lot of birds, and they <laughs> were all in here. Our older brother, he said, you guys are too spoiled. You have to run much more. And then he arranged competitions for us all the time. And it mm. always ended with a big, big, big stretch up mm. the hill to our, <laughs> to our front door. The fact that we were so competitive when we were young. But I think that when we then came together and we started Oriflame, this competitive spirit has been a tremendously important thing. This was basically during our first ever meeting. And we didn't have more than about 20 girls that were selling our few products. Here you have Robert, when he is doing a, one of his passionate speeches. And we had our moments of, of course, worry, because you can see that we were rather, rather concerned about things. Like with every company, the first five years are very fragile years, and you live on a very thin thread. To fail was so awful that it, it couldn't really make room in our minds. We were used to fighting, we didn't give up. That was part of our DNA, you could say. But also that our culture, our, our type of business was so passionate. So we, we attracted people to work with us that never gave up either. You remember Tamila? Yeah, our Russian. Dynamo. That was just an incredible lady. She became the symbol for success in Oriflame, the symbol, symbol for what can happen to people that join us. It was such an incredible excitement of just meeting all these people and say, I can't do it, I have no self-confidence, I can't talk to other people. And we said, you'll be surprised. When I see you in a year's time, you are going to be one of the leaders standing on the stage. There are people working, selling cigarettes, alcohol, cars, everything fine. We sell a dream and offer an opportunity. And that is an incredible inspiration. It creates a meaning to life.